Well, good morning. Good morning. Are you excited to be here? Yes. That's ah, a good day and a fun time to gather, and it's always great to uh, begin a service uh, with baptism and the ordinance of believers' baptism. Uh, for us, uh, we understand that baptism is a picture. It's an illustration. It's the outward sign of the inward change. It's something that we're instructed to do in Scripture. It's something that Jesus himself did as he walked through the waters. Today I'm excited uh, to see two young men uh, walking through these waters today. Uh, the first is Aaron Maxey. And Aaron knows Jesus Christ, has made a decision to follow Christ and to follow in baptism today, and so we rejoice with that. And Aaron, because of your profession and confession of faith in Jesus Christ, it's my privilege today to baptize you, my brother in Christ. So today I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raised to walk in life. Next we have Fred Porterfield. This is Fred. Fred knows Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior and desires to follow in baptism today. Fred, because of your confession and profession in Christ, it's my privilege today to baptize you, my little brother in Christ. So today I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Grace to walk in life. Would you pray with me? Father, we rejoice at the stirring of the waters and the symbolism that is afforded us today. That we witness, think of, new life, transformation, renewal. It is when we stir these waters, we are once again awed at the salvation, the gift of grace and of mercy and of life that is found in Christ. For today, we celebrate that. In Jesus' name we pray.